They say to be the best, you gotta beat the best. Well, sometimes even when you are the best, weirdos act like you're not the best. Make sense? Not yet? Maybe? Let's do it. Second place Revs heading west to play FC Cincinnati, the number one team in the league. Be the best, beat the best, see? Now while the Revs aren't within striking distance of first place with this one game, this contest could have major implications down the road, potentially determining where an Eastern Conference Final is played. But let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. The Revs have won three straight, have points in six straight, and get to put their recent run of play up against the best team in the league. But they gotta do it in Cincinnati, where this team not only is undefeated at home, Cincinnati has won all 10 of those matches. The teams met back in April and played to a 1-1 draw. They have a good team and uh, you know they have a great stadium to play in, a capacity crowd every game and uh, they're 10-0 at home this year so it's going to be a challenge. Neither Gustavo Bo nor Noel Buck participated fully in training on Tuesday so their status for Saturday is a question. If Bo is unable to go that could mean increased opportunity for Giacomo Vrioni who scored the game winner last week against Toronto. Vrioni, famously one of the Revs' three designated players, is in his second season with the Revs, and while he still hasn't cracked the starting 11 with any regularity, he's got the right attitude. Uh, more, more, more you play, more you feel uh, uh, healthy on the fitness level, because, uh, because you know, more you play, and more maybe the things will come, you know, so. But, uh, but at the end, you know, I'm, uh, I'm trusting the process, I'm trusting the coach, uh, and uh, and hopefully I will uh, get uh, from the from the starting it <laughs> he's, he's a young player. He's not real experienced in this league yet, and he's, he's getting better. Now for the other news. Major League Soccer All-Stars were announced this week, and congratulations are in order for Jorge Petrovic. And, and that's it. Somehow, Carlos Heel is not an All-Star, despite leading the league, tied for the league lead, you know what I mean, in assists, second in key passes, Plus he's got seven goals to see Carlos Heel. He of being Carlos Heel is not an all-star. Bruce? Carlos didn't make the 26. You shouldn't be calling it an all-star team if Carlos Heel's not on it. That's my head coach and sporting director. Hey, Ryan Spaulding is back with the team. He was on loan with the Tampa Bay Rowdies of the USL, but he is back with the team now, hoping to shore up a back end that is without Dewan Jones, because Dewan Jones famously on national duty playing for the US men's national team. It's a, a great time. Obviously, I've been keeping up with the Revs as, as I was down there, and um, when I got the call to come back, I was I was super excited and just I was more ready that I was I knew I was getting 90s down there, so I was like I can really come up here and, and hopefully make an impact and keep this this run of form going. And sometimes I do an and I'll leave you with this. Well, guess what, folks? I'll leave you with this. You know who I saw walking on the field Tuesday in training? Hank freaking Kessler, he of surgery, he of out four months, but not really four months, said Bruce Arena. Henry Kessler was walking around. Was it the best walk I've ever seen? Not necessarily, I've for sure seen better. Hank's done it better himself, but he is out of his brace and he is moving. Who knows when he returns to the actual lineup, but this is a good sign.